Today I'm joined by James Graham, the Chief Executive Officer of Recce Pharmaceuticals, which is developing a new class of anti-infective drugs. James, to investors that may not have heard of Recce Pharmaceuticals before, how would you describe what you're up to? Yeah, thanks Gareth. Look, we are an infectious disease business in the midst of a global infectious disease crisis. And under that infectious disease umbrella, we really have a portfolio of new class of antibiotics and a portfolio of antiviral drugs with the commonality focused on the hypercellular mutation of either antibiotic resistant uh, germs or those deadly viral pathogens. Now, Recce has had a, a, a bumper 12 months what can investors and prospective investors look forward to over the next 12 months? Really a, a suite of news flow. We've worked long and hard through our IND enabling programs, which is really the preclinical uh, activities you do to ensure that the drug is both safe and efficacious. Now we start to see for the first time in human or in a more formal human uh, setting, whether we can uh, replicate that and further what that could mean on a global basis. What we won't see is a capital raise. We're very well funded and we're thrilled to have those, particularly institutional investors on board for that journey. Summing up James, why is Recce worth investing in? Well, look, I, I bought another $50,000 on market only a few days ago. I paid a dollar, a dollar and four and a half cents. No problem. It's a bigger picture investment. I think for any, any uh, investor, you'd be focused on the potential of a capital gain. This is a capital gain stock. We're not yet approved for sale, uh, as is traditional with pharmaceutical development. But with multiple near-term catalysts and news flow uh, in you know, the crisis that is in infectious diseases for significant unmet medical needs, the, the upside is certainly on the table, whilst we have obviously a good mitigated downside risk position with a solid cash balance. So I, I'd say it's, it, it's one to keep in the portfolio.